guys how's it going this is Kamal from Nakaris but in this video I'm going to do an informal you know, comparison between a high end Lumia and a low end Lumia well, this is the Lumia 950XL and this is the Lumia 430 this is the cheapest Lumia available right now and this is the most expensive Lumia available right now but Windows Phone is said to be a very smooth operating system so let's see how smooth it is and how what difference can a top end a phone can make over a cheap phone that comes with Snapdragon 200 processor? This one comes with Snapdragon 810. So let's start with basic tasks like launching the calculator app. One, two, three. Almost instantaneous on the phone. In fact, the 430 launched it earlier, it might be because. It has a fewer number of pixels to push uh, compared to the Lumia 9DXO, but that's not something which I expected. Um, how about launching the turtle client? One, two, three. That will go instantaneous on this uh, device. 950XL. Let's try launching. Let me see if the Microsoft Edge is closed on both devices. It closed all the apps as well. I wish there was a close all option in the task manager, but alas, it's not present to close each app manually. Alright, well, let's start opening app. Uh, let's start firing up the Edge browser. The Lumia 950 was first. Let me open. How about. Um, let's open complex side like Engadget. Very small old keyboard. I mistyped it. Typing behind the camera is not easy. So I'm gonna press the go button together. One, two, three. I'm a very slow in Wi Fi connection right now. So both devices should take some time. So let's see who which phone renders it first. Both phones are I don't know what's happening. Hmm nothing. That's weird. Alright. Something is happening on the Lumia 950 XL. This one is still in coma. Hmm. Start browsing the website on the 950XL. Well, that is still not doing anything. Hmm, something is happening. The fix has finally started loading the page. Now keep in mind that Engadget is a very heavy website. And I'm on a really slow internet connection right now. It's like 512 kbps because I've exhausted a month bandwidth. So it's still loading the web page, but the scrolling is silky smooth, something you don't find on the cheap Androids. So let's close this window, try something else. Hmm. Let's fire up File Explorer. One, two, three. Almost same, but 950 was again very fast. How about opening the Groove Music? One, two, three. Almost same, but 950 was again faster.
about launching Microsoft Excel. One, two, three. Bam! That was fast. 950 Excel show again showing its speed. About how about Microsoft Word? One, two, three. Again, the, this one is much faster. Oh, I'm not done with the word on it, so. My mistake. How about launching the Maps app? One, two, three. That was, like, it was already there in the memory, but it was not. It was already loaded. The map. This one is still loading it. So, considerable difference. Let's launch something else like the weather app. One, two, three. Oops. If the press didn't get registered and the, the tab didn't get registered on the Lumia Fire has 430. Again, I'm not down with the app, so again, my mistake. See how beautiful it is on the Lumia 950FL. It's amazing. We're launching cameras. One, two, three. Instantaneous on the 950, but it's a great camera device. But of course, you can launch a camera app by pressing the pressing and holding the camera button. There's no button of the any thought on this uh, phone. Let's launch the movie quick app. This is a very famous uh, app for ping building in it. One, two, three. So that was almost instantaneous, like to like two seconds on this. Took like four or five seconds on that, but still very fast. How about Outlook? One, two, three. Again, very fast on the Lumia 950 XL. Let's go about, let's fire the people that one, two, three. So that even in the core app, Scenario: The 950X is much faster. Let's fire up settings. One, two, three. Again, 950X is faster. So, but not very that fast. And if you compare it to Android level, if you compare this 430 to Android level Android phones. You can see that this phone still gives them a run for the money. I mean, it's clearly much faster than my Note 3 and my Note 4. And it's a very capable device, comes with a gig of RAM, so it can run any game on any app available for the Windows 10 uh, or for the Windows Phone 8.1 devices. So there you go. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.